Did you know that if your bladder isn't emptied, urine can build up and lead to excessive pressure in the kidneys, which may lead to complications like kidney failure? Urinary catheterization can help reduce the risk of permanent kidney damage by making sure that your bladder is emptied. A urinary catheter is a hollow, flexible tube placed in the body to drain and collect urine from the bladder. Your healthcare provider may recommend that you use a catheter if you have urinary incontinence. When you are unable to control, when you urinate or experience leaking urine. Urinary retention, being unable to empty your bladder when you need to. This could be due to bladder stones, blood clots in the urine, severe enlargement of the prostate gland, surgery of the prostate or pelvic organs, other medical conditions such as multiple sclerosis, spinal cord injury, or dementia. Catheters come in many different sizes, materials, and types. For example, it can be made of latex, silicone, or have an antimicrobial or hydrogel coating. As for the catheter tip, it can have a straight or coude tip. There are three main types of catheters, namely indwelling catheter, intermittent self-catheter, and condom catheter. An indwelling catheter, also known as a Foley catheter, sits in the bladder. It has a soft, plastic or rubber tube that is inserted into the bladder to drain the urine and can be useful for short and long periods of time. It is usually inserted into the bladder through the urethra. However, it can also be inserted into the bladder through a tiny hole in the abdomen and it is known as a suprapubic catheter. A tiny balloon at the end of the catheter is inflated with water to prevent the tube from sliding out of the body. The balloon can then be deflated when the catheter needs to be removed. External catheter, also known as a condom catheter, is a catheter placed outside the body. It's usually for male patients who do not have urinary retention problems but have serious functional or mental disabilities, such as dementia. A device that looks like a condom covers the penis head. Then, a tube leads from the condom device to a drainage bag. These catheters are generally more comfortable and carry a lower risk of infection than indwelling catheters. Intermittent self-catheter. Some patients may only need a catheter for a short period of time after surgery until the bladder empties. These patients can be trained to apply the catheter themselves or with the help of a caregiver. Patients with urinary catheters may have a higher risk of urinary tract infections, in short, UTIs. Therefore, it's important to see a doctor if you have any of the following symptoms. Persistent fever of 38 degrees Celsius and above. Severe pain in the lower abdomen. No drainage of urine or difficulty to urinate. Cloudy and or foul-smelling urine. Sediments in urine. Or blood-stained urine. How to care for your catheter. Wash your hands with soap and water before and after handling the collection bag and urine catheter. Do not allow the outlet valve to touch anything. If the outlet gets dirty, clean it with soap and water or using an alcohol swab. Ensure that your urinary catheter tubing is not kinked or twisted. Secure the catheter to your thigh to prevent tugging at the site of insertion, which may cause pain and injury. Always place your urinary bag below your waistline. You should also drink sufficient water as recommended by your doctor to keep your urine clear or only slightly yellow. This will help prevent infection. Empty the drainage bag used to collect the urine at least every 8 hours or whenever the bag is full. If you want to know more about catheterization, please visit us in our clinic. Or you could make an appointment through the Eurodoc website at www.eurodoc.sg. Lastly, check out our other videos for more education tips.